friends, I'm Ron Brown. Welcome to my shop. Today I would like to talk to you about the amazing off-center chuck. We're calling this Type 2 because I've done some uh, major redesign work and I'm also able to offer a significantly reduced price. Those of you uh, who are already familiar with the Longworth Type 2 chuck, I've had a lot of requests lately uh, for folks wanting to know if the full-size Amazing Off-Center Chuck is compatible with the Type 2 Longworth, especially since I made it compatible with our Donut Chuck. The Type 2 Longworth is also able to use the Donut Rings off the Donut Chuck, but I haven't figured out a way that I really trust to make the Off-Center Chuck uh, compatible with it. So what I've done is I've redesigned it, re-engineered it, made some pretty significant changes, uh, and now we're able to offer it as a standalone. So, by way of introduction, what the off-center chuck is, is it's a full-size chuck with an offset ring in the middle, and when we rotate this ring here, the uh, uh, spindle will be off-center. So, you can see right now, it's uh, pretty concentric. We have four bolts here, 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 and here. When we loosen those up, this disc, and you can see the little smiley face, this disc will rotate. And uh, let me just show you as an example. That's a lot off-center. So depending on how much uh, out of center you want, we can have a lot or we can have just a little bit. So the idea is that this disc would rotate and you can see I'm exaggerating it here quite a bit. In fact, a lot. But you can see how off-center that is. It's crazy off-center. I've designed it now so that your ability to rotate the off-center piece here using the top hole is infinite. You don't have to go one hole increment if you don't want to. That's just one of the changes that I've made. So how in the world does this thing actually work? So let me start at the beginning and show you what we've got. This off-center chuck is actually an assembly. So it has a faceplate that mounts right onto the spindle on your lathe. Now I've got a spindle extender here uh, because this is a 1x8 and I've got a 1x8 faceplate here. It comes with a one and a quarter and a 1x8. My example is a 1x8. So you have the back plate and then you have the front plate that is designed to accept uh, the, uh, the off-center ring here. So, as you can see, it moves back and forth. So, if we're going to go all the way back to the beginning, here are the three pieces. The first one is the back plate. And the back plate is just a faceplate disc. It's got corresponding holes that match the rest of the stuff. This is the top plate which the holes match this, and there is a lip inside here. And the reason we have the lip is because this is our smiley face, we call it, uh, the eccentric, which also has a lip on it. So this assembly 
fits together like that. So if all the bolts in the world were not here, your smiley face would still be trapped. It can't come through. So this assembly gets mounted onto our back place here with bolts. And that's what makes up uh, the off-center truck. And then as we rotate this, it'll be further off-center. So here's how we put it together. We have the, the um, eccentric assembly, the, the smiley face. Got our little bolt in there. We're going to take the front cover, put it on here, and then you have, this is a four bolt assembly, goes through like so, and then we'll go ahead and put the big uh, T-knobs on the back and mount it on our lathe. So when we're setting this up, we decide what kind of offset we want. Uh, right now, right now it's pretty much concentric. So we decide the amount of concentricity we want and we have a, a hole for this to go in. If you want to move in hole moves, then you would just move this over one whole notch or you'd go the, the other way one whole notch. It's up to you. If, however, you wanted to go between, and you could certainly do that, you could go in here, for example, which uh, sometimes you'll want to do that. In that case, we're going to use the upper hole, and now our move can be infinite. So, let's say we've decided whatever it is we want to do. Let's say we're, we only want to be off by, let's say, that much for whatever particular project we're working on. So that's about all the offset that we want right there. But how in the heck would we hold our workpiece? We're missing something, aren't we? Well, this stud represents the spindle on your lathe. So you take your normal four jaw chuck or a screw chuck or another face plate for that matter and you would then mount it on this particular stud. Let me show you what I mean. So as an example, this is a four jaw chuck. Uh, it's got one by eight threads on it which will match up to my stud here and all I do is just mount my chuck on here just like I normally would. Let me uh, cinch this down a little bit here, give you an idea of what we're talking about. So now, whatever I put in my four jaw chuck is going to move at uh, however I have, have set this in particular. So just as an example, I've got a platter here and let's say that I wanted to do something here. If I had a wide rim uh, platter here, I might want to do something on, on the rim. But let me, let me set this up. Move it by hand. So there's, there's my off center. So I have designed this chuck to work, the, the off-center chuck, to work with a standard four jaw. Now the chuck that you just saw me mount on here happens to be uh, out of our feather light line. Uh, it weighs less than two pounds. Um, it's made out of aircraft aluminum. So what we recommend is that you use the lightest weight chuck that you have that will get the job done. If uh, you have ever used the pendant chuck um, that I sell, a small off-center chuck, it's about this big around, and we use it to make pendants and stuff, one of the, uh, the, techni the techniques and the methods there is there are actually two off-center adjustments. One is the eccentricity here, 
but the other one is the ability to take your workpiece and to rotate it slightly. So the way we would do that, what I'm talking about is let's say I've got a certain off center, it's going to be over here. But if I want them equally spaced, one here, one here, and one here, like the Olympic rings, for example, where they would overlap with the same offset, and what I need to do is I need to rotate my workpiece using the same offset. And that way I can get an equal offset here, here, and here. Or I could do it in four places or in two places or so on. So something that you need to keep in mind is there are two offsets. One is where you just rotate the workpiece using the same offset. The other one would be where you actually change this and you have a different offset. So regardless of what you want to do, whether you want to work on the inside uh, what, of, the, of your vessel, whether you want to work on the rim, whether you want to turn it over uh, and hold it either in cold jaws or you could even hold it in your, uh, your long worth too if you wanted to. It'll mount right here where the chuck is. Whatever it is you want to do, the off-center chuck will allow you to do it. The only thing we don't supply is a four-jaw chuck, and we figure you probably already got those. If you would like to add the uh, amazing off-center chuck Type 2 to your collection, just let me know. Tell me what uh, thread pitch you want, a 1x8 or a one and a quarter by eight, and I'll uh, fix it right up for you. I'm Ron Brown. Thanks for watching. And remember, wherever you go, there you are. God bless.